If you haven't heard about the water crisis in Jackson, Mississippi, I'm pretty sure it's by design. And in case you have heard about it, let's give you a couple of updates. Now, last year, 2022, there was an investigation into the water system as to whether or not it was functional, operational, and working to the, at least the benefit of the residents there. What they found was that it was not. It was undermanned, undermaintained, and a lot of the damages had been years in the making. So for, I would say, somewhere in the region of 60 years, the water system has been um, slowly declining. Now, we're not going to go into whose fault it is because anyone with, you know, at least some research ability can go look and find out who's really behind the governmental structure there in Jackson, Mississippi. And I would advise you to go do that. But when you look back at how long a certain regime has been over it, you have to start asking questions like, why hasn't this been addressed? How has it not been fixed yet? And what were you expecting it to just go away? Because now you have a continuing, and some would call it chronic, problem now in Jackson, Mississippi. The first and foremost would be the water quality. The second would be whether or not you get up in the morning and you have running water. And if you do have it, how much pressure? They replaced a couple of pipes, they put someone else in charge of it, and they have been able to kind of bring things back to... I guess you would call it normal, but is it normal if it just went back to the way it was and it's just as defunct and waiting for another break? I, I can't really call that normal. But the people that are really suffering are the people in the residents of Jackson, Mississippi, because what ends up happening is that no one really pays attention to what's going on with them. They're quick to take whatever funds they can and allocate it elsewhere. But when it comes to the actual residents, they don't get any attention. You hand out water bottles. Okay, good. And you tell them, well, it'll take a couple of months. But you had time long before this to take care of the biggest problem that your city had, which is infrastructure. With the Build Back Better plan that Mr. Biden put out, he gave you cash to the tune of $40 million for that specific thing. Nothing got done with it. So what exactly is supposed to be done? What are the residents supposed to do? They hired you to do a specific job. That job was to take care of their well-beings for the things that they were not responsible for. Sewage, water, power, infrastructure, roads, you name it. That was your job. And the government of Jackson, Mississippi has completely abandoned them. So what do you do? This particular topic is not to speak to the governmental side of Jackson, Mississippi. I want to speak to the residents for just a brief second here. You're going through what I would call consequences. And some of you may not have implemented these consequences, but some of you have. But what I want you to do is to not really focus too much on the fact that the consequence is happening, but to look forward and realize that you have an option to overturn that consequence and start something fresh. They say that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over and over again, expecting a different result. Since 1901, that result has been the same thing, that pr process. You vote a certain way, vote a certain way, vote a certain way. And now you're at pretty much the conclusion of what that particular voting cycle does. What about making just a, a minute change? Now, again, like I said, the definition of insanity over and over and over, hoping for something different. But let's be honest, it won't change if you keep doing the same thing. This is not like some kind of a random optimizer where you can just flip a switch and it tumbles and, it, and one of those slots has something positive. Not, none of those slots have anything positive. You have a almost, you have, yeah, you have a hundred year sample to figure this out. A hundred year sample. That's saying a lot. So here's what I would suggest you try and do. When there are primaries, local runoffs, how about we look at what the people actually stand for and not who is backing them? Because at the end of the day, this is about your life. This is about your quality of life. This is about your children's quality of life. So they have water running again. How clean is it? The answer is not. You'll end up joining Flint. You'll end up joining, hey, you might even become like India, for all I know, where the running water has to come from the sewer, so you have to pick it up. You don't want that. Nobody wants that. So right now, your options are 
fairly limited. And the only real option you have that would make any sense is to vote differently. Because for a hundred plus years, you've been doing the work to vote a certain way. Whether you've been told to, whether you've been advised to, whether you've been coerced to, or whether you genuinely believe it's a good thing to do, you are now seeing firsthand that it was not a good idea. It simply isn't. If it was a good idea, you would not be in this problem right now. The research has shown that they had time, they had allocated resources, and they did not put any of it to your benefit. Not a one thing. So while I'm not going to say that this was something that you have to live with, it's not. You, you can change this. You can change this by swapping out the people that put you here for people that have never put you here and see what they do. While it might be an experiment, it could be a test, it could be a trial, you got to do something different. You can't afford to continue doing it. So your choices are clear. You can live with the way things are and have it reoccur again. Or bite the bullet, try something new, vote differently and see if that works. And then you at least have a better sample size of what can and cannot work. Now, if they end up being the exact same, you can't say you didn't try. But the way it is now, you'll never know until you try. I do pray that you guys get the relief you need and that the water starts to flow cleanly and well, but the, the people behind it are not for you right now. Make the change while you can before it's too late and your children have to pay the price for it.